Corday's newest album, The Crossroads, is more than just a collection of songs. It's a bold statement of growth, introspection, and resilience. As his third studio album, it continues his trajectory as one of hip-hop's most thoughtful and versatile artists, all while pushing the boundaries of his artistry. Featuring big-name collaborators like Lil Wayne, Kanye West, and Juicy J, The Crossroads feels both deeply personal and universally relatable. Let's take a closer look at what makes this project an essential listen. If you're new here, my name is Ron, and I upload three to four videos on hip-hop every week, so if you don't want to miss a future upload, be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. And with that being said, let's dive right into the video. At its core, The Crossroads is an album about transformation. The title itself hints at a pivotal moment in Corday's life and career. He's standing at the metaphorical crossroads, grappling with fame, personal struggles, and his place in the world. This theme is woven throughout the album with lyrics that oscillate between self-reflection, frustration, and hope. Tracks like Mad as Fuck encapsulate Corday's discontent with societal issues and his own battles with mental clarity. The rawness carries throughout the introspective cuts where Corday contemplates his rise to fame and the sacrifices it demands. Songs like Saturday Mornings featuring Lil Wayne add a nostalgic lens reflecting on the innocence of youth while juxtaposing it with the harsh realities of adulthood. Corday also uses the crossroads to explore the pressures of being a young, socially conscious rapper in a genre that often rewards commercial appeal over substance. The battle he strikes between vulnerability and confidence is one of the album's greatest strengths, showing the maturity as both a lyricist and as a person. One of the standout features of the crossroads is its star-studded list of features. Collaborations can sometimes overshadow an artist, but here they feel purposeful, enhancing the themes and diversity of the album. Lil Wayne's verse on Saturday mornings is a highlight with the veteran rapper adding his signature wordplay and charisma to the track. Kanye West's involvement, although polarizing given the recent controversy, brings the raw energy to Rebel, a song that blends introspective bars with boundary-pushing production. Juicy J, also known for his party anthems, adds an unexpected layer of fun and nostalgia to the project. These features aren't just for star power, they complement Corday's storytelling. Each artist brings their own perspective, enriching the album's exploration of life's highs and lows. Corday's ability to hold his own alongside these heavyweights underscores his growth and confidence as an artist. The production on the album is as diverse as its themes. Corday experiments with the various sounds, blending soulful samples, jazzy instrumentals, and modern trap beats to create a dynamic listening experience. Tracks like Mad as F and Breathe Easy lean into a lo-fi introspective vibe, while songs like Wild Nights bring high energy beats that are perfect for a late night drive. This versatility reflects Corday's desire to push the boundaries of his sound, while some tracks feel reminiscent of his earlier projects like The Lost Boy and From a Bird's Eye View, others show him stepping into uncharted territories. The balance between old and new makes the album feel like a bridge between Corday's past and future. However, some critics have noted that this electric production can lead to uneven pacing. While the highs are undeniable, a few of the tracks feel less cohesive, slightly disrupting the album's flow. That said, these moments are rare and do little to detract from the overall project. Corday has always been praised for his lyricism, and The Crossroads is no exception. His ability to weave complex emotions into relatable narratives is what sets him apart from many of his peers. On this album, he tackles everything from personal growth to societal pressures with the precision of a seasoned storyteller. In songs like Mad as F, Corday vents his frustration with a world that feels increasingly chaotic, while tracks like Grateful focus on finding peace and gratitude despite life's challenges. His lyrics are both poignant and accessible, resonating with listeners from all walks of life. What's particularly impressive is Corday's ability to switch between introspection and bravado. On tracks like Rebel, he exudes confidence, reminding listeners of his skill and dedication to the craft. Yet, he's just as comfortable showing vulnerability, making his music feel authentic and multidimensional. Although it's only been a few days since The Crossroad is released, this album has already sparked conversations across the music world. Critics have praised its thematic depth and Corday's willingness to take risks, though some have pointed out the occasional inconsistency in pacing. Fans, however, have largely embraced this album, applauding its relatability and artistic growth. 
Corday's decision to collaborate with artists from different eras and styles has also been a talking point. By bridging the gap between old school and new school, he positioned himself as a unifying figure in the genre. This approach not only broadens his audience, but also reinforces his respect for hip-hop roots, especially after years ago where he was always saying that he wasn't too fond of the older figures in rap in his earlier work as a younger artist. The album's lead singles includes Mad as F and Wild Nights, which have performed well on streaming platforms, further solidifying Corday's status as one of the most exciting young voices in rap. His ability to balance commercial appeal with lyrical substance is a testament to his artistry. The Crossroads is more than just an album, it's a journey. Through its 14 tracks, Corday takes listeners on a ride through his thoughts, struggles, and triumphs, offering a glimpse into the mind of an artist at the pivotal moment of his career. While not every track hits with the same intensity, the album's highs far outweighs its lows, making it a standout project in Corday's discography. Overall, I really enjoyed this album as a listen, and I'd say I really enjoyed about 8 out of 14 tracks, and one of the biggest surprises for me was the Kanye feature. I thought Kanye would come a little different on that track, but he sounded really good on that track and he flowed really well on that hook. I think Corday did a really good job putting together this album and really bringing together a bunch of different artists and putting together an album that sort of solidifies him a little more, especially after the last one received a lot of critique and a lot of people saying that he was sort of pushing himself and staying in a comfort zone and keeping himself in a box when we all know his lyrical ability and he has the ability to be one of the top five rappers in the game. He just has to push himself a little more and I think that's exactly what Corday did on this album. So overall for fans of thoughtful introspective rap, The Crossroads is a must listen and it's a reminder of the power of music to reflect and shape our understanding of the world. And it's a testament of Corday's growth as an artist and a person. As he continues to navigate his own crossroads, one thing is clear, Corday is here to stay. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss a future upload. Uploading three to four times a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with the occasional weekend upload. So if you don't want to miss a video, be sure to subscribe. If you stuck around this far deep in the video, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. What did you guys think of Corday's album? Did you enjoy this album? And what's your favorite song off the album? Drop a comment below. I'd love to start a discussion with you guys in the comments. And that's really all I got for y'all today. With that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.